Every day more information is coming to us. And with that endless flow we also get more and more useless knowledge. Welcome to another episode of Mimundo where we take a look at the top 10 of the best of useful and useless information we could find. You can decide yourself. Top 10. Number 10 is for Miracle Mike, a Wyan dot rooster who lived for 18 months after decapitation. On September 10, 1945 Mike's owner Lloyd Olson from Fruta, Colorado, tried to decapitate him but did not succeed in doing so completely. One ear and most of the brainstem remained intact, so Mike survived the operation. It is known that chickens walk around for a while after being beheaded. However, Mike actually continued to live. Not his head, which was eaten by a cat. Olson continued to take care of Mike and fed him milk and water with the help of a pipette. Mike was also given grains of grain in his esophagus. Olson decided to take a salad out of the situation and toured with Mike along the west coast of the United States. For 25 cents you could see this miracle of nature. Miracle Mike was an instant celebrity and at the height of its popularity raised about $4,500 per month, a large sum of money at the time. He seemed to be healthy and satisfied and grew like a cabbage. Eventually, however, he died from decapitation, suffocating in his own mucus. Ever tried a petite burdenant? On number 9, a biscuit from France. The biscuit is 65 mm long, 54 mm high and 6.5 mm thick, and weighs 8.33 grams. It has a smooth surface and contains four corners, 52 notches on the side and 24 points, four lines on six columns, in the middle between which is the inscription Lou Petit Bernant. It is claimed that the Petit Bur with these characteristics refers to different time intervals. For example, the four corners represent the four seasons, the 52 notches represent the weeks of a year and the 24 points represent the hours of a day. However, there is no evidence that Louis Lefebvre Util actually meant this. Let's stay at the time intervals. The town hall of Dilbeek in Belgium is found on number 8. The town hall is located in Castle de Viren and has 12 towers, 52 rooms, 365 windows and 7 stairs. According to tradition, this striking number refers to the Julian calendar, 12 months, 52 weeks, 365 days and 7 days a week. In 1923 the municipality established its town hall in the castle. In 1990 the castle de Viren was protected as a monument. Number 7 is for the Bluetooth symbol. The name Bluetooth comes from a Danish Viking leader, Harald I from Denmark, also called Harald Blauten. Because he made connections between Scandinavia and mainland Europe, he was thought of when naming the communication protocol, 1. It was originally the working name of the project, but in the absence of a better name it has also become the definitive name. The logo is a combination of the initials H and B from the runic script. At number 6 white and brown eggs. If the eggs are the same inside, where does the difference outside come from? It turns out not to be the case that white chickens lay white eggs, and brown chickens lay brown, says a poultry farmer. Nope, it depends on the color of the chicken's waddles. When they are red, the chicken lays brown eggs, when they are white, the chicken lays white eggs. This, in turn, has to do with the breed of the chicken. Are you also crazy for M&Ms? This famous candy named after the inventors Forrest Mars and Bruce Murray at number 5. Very useless to know that in a normal M&M's bag 20% is brown, 15% red, 20% yellow, 10% orange, 20% green, 15% blue. In a bag with peanuts M&M's the percentages of brown, red, yellow and blue are 20% and of green and orange 10%. Back to more healthy food at number 4. Did you know that there are male and female sweet peppers? Probably not. There are a number of differences. First of all, how they look. The female sweet pepper has four bumps at the bottom and the male three bumps. Besides the difference in the number of bumps there is also a difference in the number of seeds. The male contains far fewer seeds and is therefore better suited for the pan. The female has more seeds and is sweeter. This sweet pepper is used to sow new peppers and is better suited to eat raw. At number 3 Collapsing Bridges. In 1850, 260 soldiers lost their lives when they walked over a suspension bridge over the Maine in France. It became a bit too much for the bridge when all the soldiers marched across the bridge neatly in size. Because all steps were the same, the vibrations were continuously amplified and the bridge collapsed completely. Since then it has been forbidden to march on bridges worldwide. At number 2 It's time for frogs. 
During tests with frogs in space, it was discovered that frogs can vomit. The frog literally pukes out his stomach and while his stomach is dangling from his mouth, he uses his front legs to push the contents out. When all the rubbish is removed, he swallows his stomach again and continues eating. At number 1 the everlasting discussion about how toilet paper should be presented. How do you actually hang up your roll? There are two ways to do this. With the piece of paper in front, so separated from the wall. Or with the paper at the back, so that it slides along the wall. There are arguments for both methods. One finds it dirty and uncomfortable when the paper hangs against the wall, the other finds the roll as faltering as the paper hangs on the front. Yet there appears to be really only one good way. Seth Wheeler, the man who has applied for a patent for toilet paper, also described in 1891 with his patent application how the toilet roll really should be used. Now is a good time to subscribe to our channel. So you will get notified as soon as our next episode is available to you. You can also click one of the other videos here. Enjoy and thank you for watching.